Question 3. Find the size of angle ADC. So this angle ADC. So um, we're really going to be focusing on the, ci the cyclic quad A, B, C, D here. And remember, opposite angles add up to 180. So we're really ignoring these lines for now inside the cyclic quad. So first things first, angle ABC is 120 degrees because angles in a straight line add up to 180. Now angle, this angle here, ADC, is the opposite angle in the cyclic quad. So given, um, so given they add up to 180 and this is 120, that must be 60. To find the size of angle ADB. ADB. So there, going from points B and C, we're bouncing off the um, circumference. So here we go, first of all up here, BAC is 25, so BDC must also be 20, B25. This is 25, but we want to work out angle ADB. So that's the balance taking us up to the 60 degrees. Um, 60 take away 25 is 35. <coughs> now for part C, this is clever this, they tell us that angle CAD is 65. CAD is 65. Now we already know that this is 25, so this combined angle is 90 degrees. We have a triangle inside a circle and we have a 90 degrees angle. So this is that circle theory rule, the angle in this semicircle is 90 degrees. So by definition, because this is 90, B, DB must be a diameter going through the center of the circle. It's not accurately drawn, so it doesn't look like it, but DB must be a diameter because this angle is 90 degrees. So um, Ben is correct. 